My name is Sam Dhani Shekharan and welcome to this database lessons video series. In this video, we are going to take a look into how to connect to the Oracle Toll C database, which we just installed using the previous video. Okay. One important thing uh, is, you know, we should have been logged in as administrator account in the Windows 8.1 PC when we downloaded and installed Oracle. For example, uh, like my account is Sam and uh, the account is an administrator. Okay, so that's very important. So now I am going to connect to the database using command prompt. Okay, this is Windows 8.1. If you see this uh, start uh, icon, uh, or rather a Windows icon, I'm going to do a right click on it. And then I'm going to go to command prompt. Okay, so I need to set the Oracle SID. Set Oracle SID. Oracle SID should be in caps equals to demo DB one. Okay, that's the database that we installed. Okay, and I need to set Oracle Home to the home where we installed the software. So we are going to find that. We installed that in C app SAM product 1210 DB home. This is where we installed the software. So I chose this. I mean, if you do a, if you click and press Control A, if it is not already selected, it will select everything and then do a right click, copy, come here, do a right click, paste. Okay, so now just to make sure. if the environment is properly set okay we need to do since it's, we want that to be treated as a variable we need to surround that with percentage sign that's when uh, windows will treat that as a variable okay so it echoes the value for the variable oracle side otherwise uh, it will just if I just do echo Oracle said it will just echo the string Oracle said okay so I did echo percentage Oracle said percentage so it gave me the value which is demo DB1 which I set earlier and then I'm going to do an echo of Oracle home okay so now SQL plus slash no log okay connect slash as sysdba i mean select name from v dollar database is demo db1 select instance name from v dollar instance that's it so we have uh, uh, a working copy of database in our PC we are able to connect and let's see if we can connect to the enterprise manager using our web browser so here uh, you know I need to go to HTTPS colon slash slash localhost colon 5500 slash EM this is the URL which we got from the installation using the previous video so once you go there it will present you with this problem with the security certificate what this means is uh, the security certificate is presented by this uh, uh, page uh, or this module which is running inside this pc and that's not a trusted certificate authority but this is fine so uh, click continue to this website we are not connected to any third party website we are just connected to our local host so continue to this website
okay a screen reader has been detected okay i think probably this is mine is a touch screen window so the username is uh, says and i know the password that i gave when i installed and i'm going to log in as sysdba That's it. We are able to connect. Thank you for watching.